Hey everyone, so I am in my third trimester already and I am so excited to start packing my hospital bag. This is my second pregnancy and with my first pregnancy there are so many things that I'm so glad that I packed in my hospital bag but there are also a lot of things that I wish I had packed. So in this week's video I'm going to be sharing with you my hospital bag packing list starting with the things that I'm so happy that I packed the first time and then going into the things that I wish I had packed. So make sure to watch through the end to get the full list and not miss any items. I'm Sabrina and I'm the creator of L'Atelier Coworking and The Focus Journal. For inspiring content and tips from a tidy working mom, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified on upcoming videos. The first item that I'm so so happy that I packed the first time in my hospital bag is an item that I rarely see in hospital bag packing lists on the internet but I think it's so important and that is snacks. For yourself. So the first time I gave birth it was around 11 p.m. at night and I gave birth after laboring for 40 hours, 20 hours at the hospital, 20 hours at home. I had barely eaten anything and I was pushing for two hours and losing all my energy. By the time the baby came out I was starving and the thing is that hospitals are not like hotels, you can't just order food anytime you want. I only got my breakfast the next morning, which was not even that good. So I'm so happy that I had packed granola bars and also some rice crackers. They were items that were in my hospital bag for a long time and then I just took them out and I'm, I was so happy to have something to eat. So I will definitely pack snacks this time and I might even get fancier. Maybe I'll remember to pack some like fresh fruit or something I think that would be way nicer than what they give you at the hospital the second item that I'm so happy that I packed the first time is shampoo conditioner and basic toiletries I know it's the last thing you think about when you're going to give birth at the hospital but again after laboring for so long and feeling so icky and sticky I was so happy to take a shower and actually wash my hair and put a little bit of makeup on I felt so much better and I felt more like myself and I definitely recommend this and I'm going to be packing shampoo and just a bit of makeup with me this time as well and I'm also going to take a towel because I don't think they gave me a towel last time I had my own towel I think it makes a big difference and as moms we always forget about our own self-care and basic needs but it's really important to start doing that early on get into this habit of taking care of yourself as well as taking care of your baby it doesn't have to be one or the other you can look good and still feel fresh after giving birth the third item that I'm so happy that I packed with me the first time and took to the hospital are slippers so I took with me some basic flip-flops that I used to walk around in the hospital and also in the bathroom and I think I'm pretty sure I use them in the shower as well um, and it's just more sanitary that way so yeah flip-flops slash slippers Ooh, little kick another thing that I'm very happy that I packed the first time are comfortable PJs and a robe. I got a robe and PJs that are breastfeeding friendly from Amazon. They look really cute and I'm happy that I made that choice because it didn't look too much like PJs so I still look good in my first selfies with my newborn. So I will be taking these items with me again to the hospital this time. So the last item that I packed for myself the first time and I'm so happy that I got is this Perry bottle. So basically if you don't know what this is for, um, I hate to break it to you but if you give birth vaginally and even not vaginally, you're going to be bleeding a lot and for me since I gave birth vaginally, uh, going to the bathroom was very very painful for the first couple of weeks. The only way to relieve the pain is to spray some water on you while you're going to the bathroom. The hospital also gave me one like this, but the one I have um, you can spray at an angle. Yeah, this was a lifesaver, so I will be definitely packing this again this time. Okay, so now moving on to some baby items. One thing that I'm so happy that I packed the first time for the baby are long sleeve PJs that have a zipper. Ideally, I think you should get uh, PJs that have a dual zipper. So one that zips down 
and one that zips up from the bottom and um, the reason why I recommend long sleeve PJs with a zipper is because even if I gave birth in the middle of the summer and it was warm, the temperature inside of the hospital is pretty well controlled and usually newborns require a layer more than we do. So um, I didn't end up using any of the short sleeve PJs that I got with me the first time and my baby boy was wearing long sleeve PJs for like the whole first month that he was born. Yeah, I would get long sleeve PJs with the zipper. Okay, so now moving on to some items that I wish I had packed with me the first time and I didn't, but I'm definitely going to be taking with me this time. The first item is wet wipes. The hospital did provide us with diapers, so we did not need to pack that, but strangely enough, they didn't give us wet wipes. All they gave us were some uh, dried paper towels that we had to wet and it wasn't very pleasant to use, especially that newborn poops are very sticky and difficult to clean up. This time I will be taking these wet wipes with me that I have been using since my first baby was born. They are the Kirkland brand from Costco and they're my favorite because they are pretty big and wide and they don't rip very easily. Another item that I wish I got with me the first time is a breastfeeding pillow. Even if you're not planning on breastfeeding and if you're planning on bottle feeding your baby, I think a breastfeeding pillow would make things so much more comfortable because it will just raise the baby and bring him to you instead of having a bad posture and feeding the baby in an uncomfortable position. I think it's really important because feeding your baby is basically all that you'll be doing for the first while. So the breastfeeding pillow I got is this one from the Snuggle Me brand and I think it's really good because it's very thick so you don't need to have a bunch of different pillows and things uh, you just use this and you're good. The next item that I wish I got with me the first time is a pillow for myself and a pillow for my husband um, because the hospital simply didn't provide us with very good pillows they were very thin and they were no good and I think you know with a newborn it's going to be exhausting and if you can get a bit of extra comfort uh, that would be good. I think this breastfeeding pillow can be used as a regular pillow for myself as well so maybe I only need to pack this plus one for my husband. We'll see. And the last item that I wish I got with me the first time but I didn't is a nice swaddle blanket that either velcros or zips. The first time I only packed a regular swaddle blanket and I wasn't very good at swaddling and I think I'm still not very good at swaddling. I think a swaddle blanket that either zips or velcros and that is made for swaddling specifically would make things much easier and would keep the baby well snuggled and tight in there. So if you don't know, swaddling your baby will help them sleep for longer because it will help control their startle reflexes. And if you want to learn more about newborn sleep and swaddling, I would recommend taking the course called Will I Ever Sleep Again? by Taking Care of Babies. It definitely helped me a lot. Okay, so now that I went through the things that I wish I had packed and all the things that I'm so glad that I packed, there are a few items that I am going to be packing as well that I packed the first time. And these are charger for your phone and an extra battery case for your phone in case the charger plug is too far from you. And I'm going to be taking my contact lenses and eyeglasses as well. So the last thing that I haven't covered yet is related to feeding your baby and that is a personal choice and it depends if you're going to be breastfeeding or pumping or bottle feeding or formula feeding. So whatever your feeding plan is, you should pack accordingly. So if you're going to be pumping, take that breast pump with you. Even if the hospital provides an industrial breast pump, bring your own, that way you learn how to use it from the beginning. If you're planning on formula feeding, the hospital also will provide that, but bring your own because some hospitals are baby friendly and they would hesitate to give you formula. If you're planning on exclusively nursing, also bring some things that would make you more comfortable like nipple cream and things like that. That's it for this video. I'm going to be leaving my packing list on the blog, so check out the link below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out my other videos. I will see you in the next one.